body camera video from San Diego transit officers okay. the man surrounded and he says harassed and beaten. The incident is leading to increased scrutiny and criticism from local leaders over the role transit security officers play. Mark has more in this joint investigation from NBC7 Investigates and our media partner, The Voice of San Diego. Cameras worn by Metropolitan Transit System NTS officers partially captured the incident, beginning with questions surrounding a work ID and ending with a 28-year-old janitor forced to the ground. NBC7 Investigates is now learning that two of the officers involved have been accused of violence before and remain on the job. Alan Coca took a job for a janitorial company contracted to clean trolleys for MTS. For six days, he says he was permitted to enter the MTS facility on Imperial Avenue, even though he didn't yet have an employee badge. That all ended the night of November 13, 2014. Who, who are you employed by, MTS or are you a contractor? Yeah, MTS for cleaning the trolley. So what, what is your title? Do you, under, do you understand what I'm saying? No, no, no. What, so what's your... What's your, what's your job title is what I'm asking clean, you. Clean. The Iraqi immigrant who's still learning English and his attorney say to this point they understood MTS officers were doing their job. The facility itself should be secure, absolutely. But you have to have a way for someone who is getting that badge to get in and get it. With body cameras recording, the misunderstanding continues. You're in an area where yeah. only employees can Come be. on, brother. You don't every have, you don't. Okay, here, here's, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Every day I'm come here. Here's what's going to happen. After I get done running you, I'm going to issue a citation. A citation for trespassing. Video shows more MTS officers surrounding Coca, who begins to get agitated. Got a horrible attitude. Next, Coca calls his brother, who also works at the MTS yard. Then, his janitorial supervisor arrives. Tell my boss in, what do you want? We're not interested in your boss. I think it should have ended right then, when they got confirmation that, yes, he worked there. But they continue pushing forward with the questioning. They push forward with drafting this citation. Um, they insist that he sign it. He tell me, if you don't want to sign, I want to take you to jail. Tell him, what are you talking about? What do you mean you're talking to jail? I don't do nothing. What happened next is the basis of a lawsuit Coca filed against the MTS, two of the transit officers, and the janitorial company. You're being cited for entering transit don't property. Don't talk to me now. They give me the sign now. It's okay. Now. Right here on the X. Before signing, Coca says his brother cautions him in Arabic not to sign a citation he doesn't understand. What's this? What does it say here? Without admitting any guilt, you're being cited for entering transit property not open to the public. All right, I'm going to take him to jail. I don't talk to nothing and nobody touch me. Okay. Put your hands behind okay. your back. No, don't, nobody touch me, okay? The standoff continues for 24 yeah. seconds. Then... Turn around. Hell no. Are we... Okay. Turn around. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Video partially shows officer wrestling the 5 foot 4 inch coca to the ground. This is when coca says he's beaten. There's no video of the incident, only sound, because a camera detaches from an officer falling to the ground. It's not reattached until minutes later. You hear Coca screaming that his face is hurt and that he's recently undergone stomach surgery. MTS confirmed both transit cops named in the lawsuit, Bill Buck and Chris Miner, are still on the job. The agency declined to comment further, citing Coca's pending litigation. <laughs> but in court documents, deny the allegations. NBC7 Investigates showed the video to San Diego City Councilman and MTS board member David Alvarez. I believe this could have been uh, de-escalated. He says a language barrier may have complicated communication, but in terms of violent arrests by MTS officers... The staff represents from my questioning uh, that this is not something that there's a trend. But court documents show just a few days before Coca's arrest, MTS settled another assault-related lawsuit involving the same two officers. According to the lawsuit, married couple Fernando and Maria Alcacer Romo say Buck and Miner ordered them off a trolley, berating them with racial slurs. Fernando was then beaten, punched in the head after he tried to record the officers on his phone, the lawsuit claims. According to court documents, the officers denied the allegations, and the settlement included no admission of liability in the incident. So who are these 200 transit officers who patrol the trolley lines? NBC7 investigates learned that about a quarter are MTS employees, the rest private security guards. All are required to have 160 hours of on-the-job training and earn certifications. None required to attend a traditional police academy. Stop resisting. 
joking. I'm not. MTS officials told NBC7 Investigates they want the public to report questionable behavior by its officers. Some commuters are already doing that, posting encounters online with trolley cops they described as heavy-handed. If you really think you mad. Councilman Alvarez says the security force is not a bunch of renegades, but says more can be done. In terms of quality control, you know, the agency, at this case MTS, really should be taking the lead on that and ensuring that officers, whether our officers or their contracted officers, are um, being trained, are being, um, uh, that there's appropriate oversight. While reporting on the story, NBC7 Investigates learned that MTS has hired a veteran police commander to help oversee security staff. And that last month, an officer left MTS over use of force concerns. The transit agency also announced all security personnel, not just officers authorized to make arrests, all will be getting body cameras. There will also be more training and supervisors for officers. MTS says these enhancements are not a result of our story. As for Alan Coca, all charges against him were dropped. He's now working at an Escondido gas station. But his lawsuit, Coca is seeking damages for pain and suffering, physical injuries, 